Welcome to this celebration of the Eucharist on the Feast of the Most Holy Body of, and Blood of Christ. Today, as we celebrate this awesome mystery of the Holy Eucharist, let us lift up our hearts and voices in a hymn of praise. Please join in the gathering song, Gather the People, number 301. <laughs> Eucharistic celebration. Let us begin the celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. As we come together to celebrate the most holy Eucharistic celebration, let us recall to our mind all of our sins, asking for God's mercy and His forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we Lord God, 
take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood. We may always experience in ourselves the fruits of our redemption, who live and reign with the God the Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord, your God, has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord.
with the best of wheat he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise to you. statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body. For we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ.
today our holy mother church celebrates the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of christ the first reading of today where moses telling his people remember how the lord your god remember how the lord your god and again he says do not then forget the lord your god do not forget the lord your god remember how the lord your god led you for 40 years in the wilderness the purpose of god led the people of israel in the wilderness is to humble you and to test the inmost heart whether you would whether they would follow the god's commandments or not and on the journey in the journey in the wilderness they were hungry and god gave them food from heaven it's called manna and that food helped them to reach the promised land and jesus told his disciples i will not leave you abandoned i will be with you till the end of the world he is with us every day he is with us in every eucharistic celebration he is with us in every tabernacle around the world but do we remember the lord in the eucharist and in the tabernacle have you heard of blessed alexandrina blessed alexandrina maria di costa was suffering the passion of jesus and living on the eucharist alone for 13 years a dreadful things happened to her in 1918 she and her sister were in the house and three men knocked at the door one of whom had previously tried to rape alexandrina they broke the house they broke into the house to preserve her chastity blessed alexandrina jumped from an upstairs window the men fled but alexandrina's spine injured 6 years later she had remained in bed for the rest of her life the slightest movement in her body would cause her an intense pain she grew closer to the lord and realized that she was suffering in a special way for the salvation of the soul she received holy communion every day and her thoughts frequently turned to jesus in the tabernacle she went into her first vision in 1931 jesus said to her love suffer and make reparation 1936 she was asked to spread the message of fatima and urge the consecration of the bowl to the the immaculate heart one of her vision jesus said to her keep me company in the blessed sacrament remain in the tabernacle night and day waiting to give my life and grace to all who would visit me but so few come i am so abandoned so lonely so offended many did not believe in my existence they do not believe that i live in the tabernacle others believe but do not love me 
and do not visit me. They live as if they were not here. They were, I have chosen to love me in the tabernacle where you can contemplate me not with eyes of the body but those of the soul. I am truly, I am truly present there as in heaven, body, blood, soul and divinity. From October 1938, she so began to suffer the passion of Jesus every Friday. She suffered the passion of Jesus 180 times during her lifetime. In 1942, during the Holy Week, Jesus said to her, You will not take food again on the earth. Your food will be my flesh, your drink will be my divine blood. She began her absolute fast on Good Friday in 1942, and she died on October 1955. Jesus had said to her, You are living by the Eucharist alone because I want to prove to the world the power of the Eucharist and the power of my life in the soul. Trust, surrender, believe, receive. Trust, surrender, believe and receive. The Eucharistic is the celebration of the love of Jesus. For as we approach Jesus in the Eucharist with the great respect and asking pardon for our sins, that is why it is so necessary at the start of every Mass to ask Jesus for mercy because we are unworthy of His love. Mother Teresa says very beautifully, the Eucharistic involves more than just receiving, it also involves satisfying the hungry of Christ. The Eucharistic involves more than just receiving, it also involves satisfying the hung hunger of Christ. He says, come to me, is hungry for the souls. Nowhere he does say in the gospel, go away. But always he said, come to me. And we hear in the gospel reading of today, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. And why he has come down from heaven? to give or for the life of the world. He has come to the world to give us life. And he says, without drinking my body and blood, you do not have life in you. If you do not eat the flesh, the Son of Man, and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. So it is in communion with Jesus Christ we can live a community life. Many Catholic families today live a family life without communion with Jesus Christ. As he said to Blessed Alexandrina Maria de Costa, I am hungry for souls, but only few visits. Only very few mean what is happening in the Eucharistic celebration. And Jesus <clears throat> tells the people, He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me and I live in him. In communion with Jesus, he lives in us and we live with him. And he says very beautifully, so whoever eats me will draw life from me. If we want to make our life, it is in Jesus 
we have life and he said at the end of the gospel reading but anyone who eats this bread will live forever the food that we participate lead us to life in eternal how the manna strengthened the people of israel to travel 40 years in the desert and gave them strength to reach the promised land so to the body and blood of christ give us strength give us courage to overcome temptations to overcome all of our daily sufferings that we would reach we would reach the promised land but the question we need to ask ourselves as moses told his people remember how the lord your god led you till today how the lord your god has led you till today saint marie de montfort wrote i could not give up this hour of thanks giving even for an hour of paradise today church in catholic church in america we are entering into the, the second year of the eucharistic revival and this year is focusing more on the paris level and each one of us our responsibilities to renew to revive ourselves the eucharistic lord he is longing he is longing for us he is longing for our love may god bless every one of us standing together as God's family let us profess our faith i believe, I believe in, in one god, god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light to god from to god begotten not made on substance with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken to the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen because of the loaf of the bread is one we do many are one body and so let us pray for the needs of all of the brothers and sisters in Christ for all who have been called to this holy table may they always receive the bread of life and the cup of salvation with faith reverence and joy we pray lord hear our prayers for leaders of all nations may they heed the cry of the poor the afflicted and the oppressed 
and work toward peace for all through justice, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the hungry and the homeless, the refugee and the pilgrim, and for all who rely on the mercy and charity of others, may we reach out to them and share the gifts we have been given, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For police, firefighters, emergency responders, and for all who place the needs and safety of others before their own, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the sick, homebound, the elderly and hospitalized, Cindy, Bob, Laura, for all those named in the bulletin, and for all who need peace and healing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful who have died in Christ, for Andrew Shervenik, Teresa Naylor, Dorothy Jean Keep, David A. Moscat, and all our parishioners for whom we offer this Eucharist, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have asked for our prayers and for our personal intentions and those written on our parish book and website. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Sweetest Jesus, our Lord truly present in the Eucharist, be our health in mind and body, be our strength in all temptation, be our joy and peace in every trial, be our light and guide in every deed, and be our final protection in the hour of death. Generous God, you have given us heavenly food for our earthly journey. Hear the prayers of your faithful people. Help us to be a blessing for others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing our song during the preparation of the gifts this evening. The summons number 387. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, 
Whose saints are to be seen in misery in the offerings we hear present through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and to everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For at the last supper with these apostles establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross. He offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery. You make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach this table of wondrous sacrament so that, bait in sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities. Here, fair sodod, therefore, all the creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, as with all host of angels cry out, and without the end, we acclaim. <laughs> Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these heaps we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he ended willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. 
and we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, of mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. by the divine teaching of Jesus. Let us pray together. Every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world, who remains us today in receiving you, you have life within yourself. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In order to join us spiritually to the Eucharist, we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, 
that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood who live and reign forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you father and the son and the holy spirit amen go and announce the gospel of the lord thanks be to god please join in our closing song thanks be to god number 612